do you remember Kia's subcompact hatchback? No, we're not talking about the Picanto. We're referring to the one that's larger than it. Its name is Rio, or should we say was Rio. The third generation Rio wasn't exactly a huge seller in the Philippines and has been pulled out of the local market for quite some time already. That's a shame because it was a solid, competent, if not exciting, little hatchback. That said, Kia wants a clean slate in the B-segment hatchback market. By that, the South Korean automaker is retiring the name Rio in favor of K3. Some of its primary competitors include the Honda City Hatchback and Toyota Yaris. Other stories you might have missed. DMD can make your Suzuki Jimny look like a classic G-Class. Daihatsu to showcase electric K cars, new Copen concept at Japan Mobility Show. But hold on, wasn't the K3 introduced just a few months ago? Well, yes, but that was the sedan version, and it was touted as the replacement for the Rio sedan. Photo by Kia. The all-new K3 rides on the same architecture as the all-new Hyundai Verna, also known as the Accent. From the front to the middle, the hatch is practically identical to the sedan. Interestingly, the rear doors appear almost the same as the one in the four-door. If that's the case, it was done for the sake of cost, but it's done in a rather clever way. Continue reading below. Watch now. Obviously, the big difference is at the back, swapping its trunk for a hatch. Design-wise, it's almost the same as the K3 sedan, having almost similar taillight and bumper designs. In terms of size, it measures 4,295mm long, 1,765mm wide, and 1,495mm tall. It's much larger than the Rio hatchback which was at 4,065mm long, 1,725mm wide, and 1,000